I'm Ellen the Crazy Crafty Lady here with another awesome video. It's the unboxing of my new sewing machine. This one is the Janome HD 3000 and it is for uh, layers of canvas and layers of jeans for heavy duty for making bags and things like that. And we are going to unbox this awesome video. Apparently they wrapped it in plastic too. I have not seen this one yet, but I was told it does up to eight layers of jeans or canvas. And we are going to see this awesome machine. I have to get it open. I haven't been on in a while lately. I went on my uh, summer vacation up north. And now I am officially a grandma. I got my first grandchild. So I've been busy with that too. And now I'm here to unbox this awesome video. Unbox this awesome sewing machine. Box is open. As you can see, as I said on the box, HD 3000 by Janome. Awesome looking so far. Here is some paperwork for the machine. Little booklet of stuff, information, manual and instructions. Very awesome book. Box. See if I can, I'm gonna have to set this down folks on the floor. I can't get the machine out. I will lift it up and out of the box. Oh, this comes off. Other side. Okay. Let's do this. Got this awesome little packet of stuff. Comes with every machine. You get some little bit of accessories and tools, little screwdrivers, spool pins, uh, presser feet, different presser feet. We can see that in a few minutes. Awesome heavy duty box. And let's see if I can lift this machine out. Apparently it has a cover on it. Uh, Yep, we do. We have this awesome machine cover for the machine. Awesome, nice, uh, hard cover. Very awesome. And we do have a sewing machine if I can get it out of the box. And there we have... box the cover in it the Janome HD 3000 let's get these off and we have our nice awesome foot pedal very cool. We have that little accessory. A lot of styrofoam as you can see. And here we have the Janome HD 3000. And we can open it up here. I know it opens up. There we go. Has your spool pin in here. And this has all the different stitches on it that you can do. All the awesome little adjusters. Spool pin inside. Thread holders. Bobbin winder. All that neat kind of stuff. And this will figure out what that is at some point in time. We also have all these different... Uh, 
stitch adjusters here, here. And this tells you what different stitches you can do with that. And this is a reverse thing here, I do believe. I will read my instruction manual on that. This is uh, two different, um, that's the sewing thing. And this is, not sure what that is, but we're going to figure that out soon. That is for something as well. And it has the pull downs. Oh, yep. Raise that that out of the presser foot and, and raise up the presser foot comes with this little piece of something on it little piece of square maybe we'll leave that for now it has the automatic drop and bob in here so we don't have to thread the side ones that I don't like has that this comes apart here opens like this and you get a little button holder in there just kind of sits in there this comes off if you want to do like sleeves and different stuff like that you can have this for that type of thing and this just kind of goes back in place like that and I guess it's a pretty basic machine. It doesn't have a, a whole lot. It has the, uh, the uh, adjuster for um, your tension dial. Here is a tension dial. And there's where you would put your bobbin to wind up some thread onto that. Got to figure out what that little piece here is. And this comes up like so, and you put your threads on there, your spool of thread. And there is a place up here, all these neat little slits, and you can put all your presser feet in there and have them all in one place. That's a very nice feature of this machine. And I must figure out what this thing is for. I have an awesome book here, instruction book that one's in, in a different language and this one is in the American language which we can open that up and find all the different parts of the book of the machine and if I had a pair of glasses I could show a couple things with this book and it has smocking with stitch length control at four that's one to four straight stitch lines <laughs> and then we also have this little features here on the side that is for adjusting stretch stitch balance all kinds of wonderful features in this book. Still trying to figure out what that thing on the front is. And I guess that's at the beginning of the book somewhere. So that is something maybe to be determined. Removing the bobbin. You just push a button and the lid comes up and off. This is the reverse stitch button. So you can go backwards or forwards. Very cool that is. <clears throat> all these all nice little presser feet. Book tells you how to run everything and what it's for. Pressure dial. Should be set at three for regular sewing. Reduce the pressure to two for appliques. To one one sewing chiffon, lace, organdy, and other fine fabrics. So this button here is for that pressure dial. That little button we looked at up here, the black one, is for pressure dial. Shows you where to plug the uh, foot control in and the plug, which is all on one piece. And I will show you that. We 
which is a really awesome feature. You get a little paperwork with that. And this is the foot dial. And it has the two awesome plugs attached in one. One's to plug into the machine and this one for the wall. And they're both on one outfit unit, which is very nice and a very um, <coughs> convenient feature. But you have the piece on the side. And this piece would plug in there, like so. And then, if you can see that or not, like so. Would plug in like that. And then you have the other end which goes into your wall, of course. And a very nice, very nice electronic foot pedal, says on there. Very awesome. Very nice feature that is all in one. The other ones don't have that. But I guess it's not a whole lot to demonstrate on this machine. It doesn't have as much as my other one. And it has the on and off switch, of course. This one will be for making canvas bags, jean purses, and all kinds of other awesome stuff like that. And very awesome machine. I love it. Can't wait to try it out and tell you how it works. There is, this is the button. You pop it and the bobbin comes up. Raise the presser foot and you get the bobbin. And there is... You get one bobbin inside, and then you get others in the little accessory package. And then this just pops back on, like that. One moment, folks. It doesn't want to pop on for some reason. Do I have it on backwards? Nope, I sure don't. A few things I will be learning on this machine as well. Oh, now it doesn't want to go on. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's look at the little accessory bag we get with that. Some of it's basic stuff that you get in other accessory bags from other sewing machines. This one is nice. You get a whole pack of needles, which is an awesome feature. Extra, two extra spool pins. There's the big spool pin. And of course you get a uh, handful of these nice uh, bobbins that come in there. And you also get a little this is some sort of a tool. I guess I'll figure that out. And more bobbins. And we get an awesome seam ripper comes with this accessory kit. Very nice to get that. And of course you get uh, all other little accessories another spool pin or spool holder and an extra spool pin in case you have trouble with one and this is the brush for cleaning very nice little accessory and you get your little screwdriver pack so you can uh, take out needles and remove and open up and clean out your machine a little bit and use the brush very nice feature that is as well. And we got a really nice collection of sewing feet. Which is a very nice feature of this machine. Two, three. You get five sewing feet. Nice little feature there. And uh, like that. And this one probably could be used as a zipper foot, I believe. That is a zipper foot. And you get all these other nice little, like, walking type feet and uh, different things to do things with. I will have to figure out what all these feet do exactly. But you get that nice little accessory. And you get a nice little bag to put it in. 
and all the nice little presser feet you get would go up in this little section here. Very nice little awesome feature to put your sewing feet in. <laughs> I do like this feature quite well. Oh, this one doesn't go in there. This one goes, I don't know where it goes. They all go somewhere in here. And I'm not sure where this one goes either. Some of them fit and some of them, maybe they're not in the right slot. Let's see. Hmm. They don't seem to want to fit in here. There we go. That one goes in there. And this doesn't seem to want to go anywhere in here. Let's see. Nope, this one, maybe it's this one that goes in somewhere. Yep, and that one goes there. Very nice, very nice. And this one would go... There's still two slots for... Uh, very awesome this one doesn't seem to want to fit in which is okay because we'll find somewhere for that to go very nice little um, thing we have here to uh, the foot that's on here and this foot's probably the other foot that fits in somehow and there you have it really nice awesome machine stitch things all kinds of other stuff on here. The next video I make, I will demonstrate how it works. And <clears throat> I will bring you that as soon as I'm done playing grandma a little bit. And amongst other things. And I really do appreciate you guys looking at my video. Hope you like this one. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching my awesome video.